folks that's coming out here right now that will keep things rocking and rolling too. So let's make welcome out on our Grand Ole Opry stage, our old time favorites, Minnie Pearl and Rod Brassfield. All right. <laughs> Are you sure nothing? Oh, I'm so worried oh, I never was. What about? Oh, I'm worried about Rodney. Oh, well, he's something to worry about. Well, he is, and right now I'm real worried about him. If he's you were back there. See what I mean? See what I mean? Rod Brandon. If you were loving and you ain't living. <laughs> Rodney, would you be so kind as to tell me what you're doing? I'm taking singing lessons, Minnie. Oh. <laughs> me, 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 me. Well, you <laughs> took a few there, you ought to left. Uh, I know, but... I, <laughs> I know they missed Look. Them. I didn't know you cared anything at all about singing or any kind of music. Oh, Minnie, I'm interested <laughs> in music. Are you? Yeah, now, you take my gal Susie for Christmas. He give me... Uh, her daddy give me a, 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 a trombone. He did? Yeah, you know, one of them are instruments that you toot and stretch it out there and toot and <laughs> pull it back and swallow it. And swallow it. <laughs> yeah, you know. Rodley, honestly, what yeah. did you, you do with when it? When he handed it to me, he says, blow, boy. <laughs> <laughs> he got here, didn't he? <laughs> well, Rodney, blow, there's a... Blow, boy, blow. <laughs> blow, blow, <laughs> boy, blow. <laughs> there's a fella at Grinder Switch that you know. You know Luke Sharp. Oh, yeah, I know Luke Sharp, yeah. yeah um, He's the first cousin to Claude. Well, let me tell you about <laughs> Let me tell you about him. <laughs> You know, last New Year's Eve, we had a party. You know, Luke can play any kind of instrument. He, that fool, can just play anything. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And we had him up for our New Year's Eve party. Yeah. Oh, it was such a pretty party. Everything was so nice. Yeah. The house was all lit up. Oh, the right. tree was all lit up. Oh, yeah. I was Uncle Mayball. Well, he was... Uh, oh, shut up. He was <laughs> <there. laughs> I'd be ashamed of myself. Well, well Uncle Nabob, only, only takes a nip when he's nervous. It's not our fault that he's such a nervous wreck. <laughs> I'll tell you, listen, Rodney, listen. I'm telling you, that old Luke Sharp was playing every instrument there was. Yeah, he'd, he'd play a little while on the fiddle. And, and he'd, then he'd play a little while on the mandolin. He's yeah. just like Matty O'Hee. He can yeah, play any kind of instrument in the world. Play anything. And you know what? While everybody was eating, see, yeah. eating the refreshments, oh. they made Luke keep on playing. Sure he was yeah. playing all the time they was eating. And you know what he finally done? Well, he turned around to that crowd and he says, look at here. I've played on the fiddle. Yeah. I've played on the mandolin. Yeah. I've played on every instrument here. But I will not play on an empty stomach. <laughs> but right now, to speak about a salesman, I guess I would call him a fireball, but I'm not talking about a salesman on this trip. I'm talking about one of our greatest comics, and I'm speaking of a hot rod. That's Rodney Brassfield! <laughs> Tell you the truth, that's the most pitifulest thing that i ever seen in my life. Now, what's that, Rodney? Well, Well, I was on my way up here, Mr. Webb, a while ago, yeah. and I passed the cemetery. Oh. And there was a fella there kneeling down by a grave, and he was saying, oh, why did you die? Why did you die? Why did you die? And I walked up to him, and I said, he touched me, you know? Yeah. I, I said, I said well, who, who is it, your mother? He oh. says, no, it wasn't my mother. I, oh, he says, oh, mother. why did you die? Why did you die? Oh. I said, was it your father? He says, no, it wasn't my father. Wasn't why it? did you die? Why did you die? Oh. I said, well, who in the cat hair was he? He says it was my wife's first husband. <laughs> Two real pretty fellers coming out here, and you're going to like them, too. I don't know where one of them got the other and the other and got the other, one, but here they are, Rod Brassfield and Simon Crumb. <laughs> hey, she loves me, she loves me not. She loves me, she loves me not. There is I one, two, three, and you're out at the old... Hello, Rod. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Rod. Herman, it's good to see you. It's good to see you, too. I see you've got your buttercup. <laughs> now your buttercup ain't more. <laughs> That's what a is? chrysanthemum, Rod. Chrysanthemum, <laughs> Rod. 
Not to You rob. talk like a dirt dauber. You can talk <laughs> faster than that. I say it's just a plain old yeller buttercup. It ain't. It is, <laughs> That's the crisp answer, my mama. All right, if it's I bought it. You did? Yeah. Did you pay for it? Well, I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> you mean there's a little dew on it? Yes, it's a Chris Hansen, I'm right. I know. Never mind about the dew. Little dew on it, about 15 cents, I guess. Yeah. Twain. How do you spell it? Chris Hansen. Do I got to spell it? Yeah. 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 I'm up. C H C O S H C H I C O C S K C. By Ned Rod, maybe it is Buttercup. Somebody here and being glad to have them, these next two folks we really are happy to have with us. The old Grand Ole Opera wouldn't be the same without them. One of them comes from Grinder Switch and the other from Hornwall, Tennessee. You know who I'm talking about. Rod Bradfield, Minnie Pearl. <laughs> Can't find that there Minnie Pearl nowhere. Have you seen her? No, I haven't. I thought she's coming out here with you. Well, I just can't find her. I can't find her. Hi, Minnie. Hi, dear, Rodley. We're looking for you. Where in the cat? Where are you going? Well, I'm going back to school, Rodley. Going back to school? Yeah. Did you know they've got a brand new school teacher at Grinder Switch? Hold up. And he's a man. I'm going back to school. Well, Ronnie, why don't you come go with me? Wouldn't you like to scrub your ears and neck and well, go back to school? I'll go home and scrub my ears, but who am I going to neck? <laughs> <laughs> Rodney, Rodney, I bet you don't even know your ABC. Oh, Minnie. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. I bet you don't. I just I bet you don't even know them. You couldn't say them now. Who? You. ABC? Yeah. Oh, Minnie, that makes me plumb mad. Well, let me hear you. All right. Oh, I ain't <laughs> gonna do it. Oh, oh. No. Oh. Oh. Old as I'm style, oh. it looks silly, Sam. Well, you look silly anyway. <laughs> Go ahead and say them. Oh. All right. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Go ahead. You mean there's more? <laughs> <laughs> Rodney, Rodney, I'll tell you one thing about the school at Grinder Street. Yeah. Now, I don't tell many people this. Well, shh, keep it quiet. But they've got a game up there yeah. that the school children play. Yeah. And there's a whole lot of hugging and kissing in it. <laughs> I'm going to the teacher about it. I don't blame you, Minnie. I don't blame you. By Ned, I'd go to him, that teacher, and have a stop put to that. I don't want to put a stop to it. I want to get in on it. <laughs> Now, neighbors, turning from the serious side to the unserious side, and I can't think of any better way to get unserious than to introduce this next boy back here. Hails from down in Hornwall, Tennessee, the one and only Rod Brassfield. <laughs> See, but you know it's cold outside, baby. Well, you, you're dressed for it. Yeah, yeah. by that, I'm telling you, I've been hunting. Ernest, do you know what the farmer said when he run over his old cow? No, Rod, I sure said, don't have oh, any idea. Oh, look at that Jersey bounce. Oh. <laughs> Ernest, I've been hunting. <laughs> You've been hunting. Boy, I've got me a gun here that shoots so far. I thought at first you was supposed to come out here and shoot me for no. that song. Well, no, <laughs> this your gun shoots so far, you've got to put salt in the in the shells to keep the meat till you get there. Oh. <laughs> That's a good one, buddy. We had it out there in horse pasture yesterday, and me and a bunch of us shooting at the bullseye. Yeah. And I won. You did? Yeah, I hit the bullseye. I'll declare. Been good, too, but I had to pay Paul for the bull. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fun. I run into two other fellas a while ago, and we all went hunting together. Yeah. Uh, one of them stuttered when he talked. He just could, 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 couldn't hardly <laughs> say nothing, you know? <laughs> and the other fella had St. by this thing. He just no. shaking all over. Well, we was walking down through there. All of a sudden, 
This here fella that stuttered says, well, well wait a minute. Now, by the, 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 there's a rubber rabbit. <laughs> he threw it up and shot, and that old cottontail just took off around the big boy's hip pockets as dip and slam, you know? <laughs> and went a little further, went a little bit further. Ernest, this fella, this, uh, this other fella that had the saint by the stain says, wait a minute, boys, yonder's yeah. a bird I want, see? <laughs> Throw this gun up, and he let him have it, see? That old bird fell just dead as a doorknob. Well, I'll this guy stuttered and said, well, well, well no, no, no wonder you hit him. Yeah, you, you aimed all over the tree. <laughs> I'll see you. Right. <laughs> oh, me, Rod Bassfield, boy, you just won't do. I'll tell you. Many pounds. proud to be here. Well, Sir Ernest, you know this year parking problem is just getting awful. It's simply terrible, I man. can't hardly get is. nobody to park with me. <laughs> 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 oh, I was just fooling, Ernest. You know, oh, I went down here to one of these here department stores. I was going to do a little trading. Yeah. And while I was standing down there, uh -huh. there was the handsomest, the cutest, the smartest, most adorable floor walker come up to me. And he says... I do mean it. Oh, <laughs> oh Are you handsome? Uh, huh? Are you handsome? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I can't see it, Rodney. Hey, listen, Rodney. Are you coming over to the box supper we're going to have tomorrow at Grinder Switch tomorrow night? Minnie, I ain't coming. Now, wait, Rodney. By then, I ain't coming. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, Rodney. No. You, you, you're not supposed to say, I ain't coming. That ain't right. See, it's, I am not coming, you are not coming, we are not coming, they are not coming. Looks to me like you ain't gonna have much of a box up <laughs> <laughs> We're all going to believe Rodney, we're going to... You know, that's Ain't where all the that's girls, right. uh, they uh, fix the supper, see, and they put you in a box, and the boys yeah. bet out. You know, yeah, they get their boxes, uh, yeah, and they eat them together, see. Yeah. Oh, I've got some wonderful food already. I'm going to have apple flip-overs. Yeah? Uh, flip-overs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now, wait a minute, Minnie. You mean turnovers, <laughs> not slipovers. No, they're apple slipovers. You see, the apples was next door, and Brother had to slip over and get them. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me so mad I could eat one. Right? <laughs> Rodney, I tell you, though, that brother of mine is a smart boy. He is? That runs in our family. Yeah? Like uh, buck teeth, and, uh, you know, we can all bite a pumpkin through a railing fence. Rodney, listen, uh, you know what, Rodney, what Brother has did recently? What has brother did? <laughs> <laughs> he has, he has, I want you to come go down there and look at it, what, he, what he's got down there. Grindy. What's he got, me? He has crossed a goat with an owl. You know what he got? Great gobs of goose eggs. What did he get? <laughs> what did he get? <laughs> he crossed an owl with a goat and got a hoop nanny. <laughs> 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 Hood nanny. Hood <laughs> bass, that's right. Oh, Rodney, you can't learn it. You ain't got no well, brains. Well, I can't pity, 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 pity. Well, I know it, but if you had any brains, they'd rattle in your head like Goobers in a wash boiler. <laughs> I've been trying all this time. Oh, well, let's forget it, Rodney. Listen, I wish you'd have been down home last night. What happened? Down at Grinder Switch. Yeah? There was a magician fella down there. A magician? Yes. Oh, one of them are. Uh, God. Yeah. <laughs> you see it and you don't see it. Yeah. Oh, he had that one act there where he called up volunteers from yeah. the audience. Brother volunteered. He but did? they couldn't use him for that act. Why not, man? It was a mind-reading act. Yeah? Yeah. They <laughs> couldn't use brother. <laughs> yeah, because he ain't got... Well, that's enough. <laughs> you know something? What? You talking about that magician. Yeah. That magician. Yeah. Magi uh, that fella that... Uh, yeah. 
Well, sir, it makes me think of that feller that come to Hornwall not long ago. He did. Only he was only, he wasn't only a, a magic and he was an inventor. Oh, well, brother's an inventor. My well, brother, yeah. he's invented a liquid that it will dissolve anything. It don't matter what it is. Sure that not. liquid brother invented to dissolve it. Just yeah. one trouble about it. Yeah. He, he can't find nothing to keep it in. <laughs> well, if he's go over here at this uh, jug shop and I... Uh, right. Yeah, I see what you mean. <laughs> yeah. Rodney, what was it about that inventor you knew? He you invented knew? a machine, Minnie. Yeah. He invented a machine, Minnie. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. It was a doggone thing you ever seen. It, you put a dollar and a half in it, and you, you push a button and get a wife. A wife? Yeah. Oh, mercy. Now, if somebody would just invent a machine where you could put a wife in and get a dollar and a half, they got something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rodney, you're nuts. Hey, listen, Rodney, I'd love to stay here with you. I've got to go. Where I've got right? brought brother in with me, and I'm afraid for him to stay around here in this big city and him an innocent country boy. Uncle Nabob was telling him this morning about the pitfalls and the temptations of a big city. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm glad he, I'm glad he told brother because <laughs> the sins of iniquity. Is it's here, right here. <laughs> 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 it makes me think of last fall during the state fair here in Nashville. Yeah. I went out to the fair. Me and Pa and all of us youngins went out there. I hope you didn't get near the freak show. Yeah, we did. They did we made them all. <laughs> but I'll tell you the truth. Pa told us kids, he says, now you boys stay out of them my dancing girls oh, yeah. shows. Oh. Where them girls dance, you know, with nothing on much. <laughs> 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 go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Paul says, Paul says to me, he says, now, Rod, you stay out of there, son. Yeah. Because if you go in there, son, you'll see things that you aren't to see. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I do. <laughs> <laughs> I sneaked off. Did you? And I went in one of them. Rod me. I did, man. <laughs> and you know what? I seen something more than just see. <laughs> What'd you see, Rodney? My daddy's sitting right there. <laughs> Rodney, you won't see. Shut up, man. Think of a, a young lady out here that has a great sense of humor, and she's born down in Grinder Switch, and she always has some of the longest tales to tell us. She has a little partner called Rod Brassfield, but first, here's Minnie Pearl. Howdy! Howdy! I'm just a proud to be here. <laughs> well, sir, I'll tell you now, I was supposed to meet my friend Rodney Bradfield here, but before he I comes in, I wanted to... Man. Well, what's the matter, Rodney? Man, I what you said, <laughs> post office today. Read it there, what it says. It her. says, Rodney Brassfield, stay away from my wife or I'll shoot you. Yeah. Rodney, what are you going to do? Well, what can I do? The fool didn't sign his name. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just, Minnie, I'd just give anything I know of if I could just get my hands on that guy. Oh, really, Whoever, Rodney? whoever wrote me this note. I'd just love to get my hands on it. I'd give him a piece of my mind. Don't do it, Rodney. You can't afford it. I know it, but... <laughs> <laughs> Rodney, you wouldn't do it now, anyway. Ain't you a smart idiot? Oh, Rodney, you wouldn't do <laughs> it. You it. wouldn't do it at all, because yesterday when that fella bumped into you on the street, you didn't do a thing. He stood there and called you every name under the sun. I know, man. And you but... didn't I know, but you see, he had done used all the good words. All oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I've got something else to say to you, Rodley. I'm ashamed of you today. Makes me so I'm, oh, I'm ashamed of you, Rodley. I've seen you back there flirting with all these pretty little girls back there. Yeah. Hey, well, listen. The bulls aren't dancing. Listen, you are a <laughs> Listen. 
You're Spoker. You have promised. I'm Spoker. Yes, you and Susie has promised to one another. Yeah. Don't you go looking at another girl. Now, look, Minnie, I got news for you. Yeah? Just because I'm on a diet don't mean I can't look at the menu. Oh. <laughs> right, Lily. You ought to be ashamed. <laughs> well, you're having better luck than me and my feller. Now, how having... are you and Hedgy getting along? We ain't I, doing I so good. No, we ain't doing so good. This morning I was in the kitchen and I was talking to Mammy. <laughs> and I says, Mammy, I says, I'm tired of all these here southern fellers not looking at me. Yeah. I think I'll go up north and marry me a Yankee. A Yankee? Oh, it just, oh, it made us so mad. She says, no daughter of mine will ever marry a Yankee. Yeah? No daughter of mine will hey, ever Mammy. marry a Yankee. Wait a minute, Minnie. Listen. <laughs> Don't pay no attention to what your mama says. <laughs> Go ahead and marry one of them Yankees. It's yeah? the best way I know of for us down here in Nashville, down south, to get even with them. Oh, <laughs> what are you get out of here? are never complete without a lot of funniness, and uh, we don't know any two funnier people than Minnie Pearl and Rod Brassfield. Let's make them feel real good now. Let's bring out Minnie Pearl, cousin yeah. Minnie Pearl. I just wanted to tell you that uh, I'm all dressed up in case anybody wanted to take me to a party. I was just thinking if I could just sort of, you know, sort of casual type, you know, just sort of yeah. run into yeah. somebody, you know, <laughs> that would be uh, anxious to go with me, some romantic type that would hey, like to go. look at that moon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you, know, you know the kind I dream about, well, this is the kind I get. <laughs> Rodney, well, I... what in the world are you going to do with that bucket of water? I've got a date with a gal tonight, and they say she eats like a horse. Oh, <laughs> Rodney. You won't do, Rodney. I'll Rodney, do. are you the romantic type? I just want to know. Now, you've done a big bunch of talking. Now, I want to know. Are you the big romantic type? I mean, feel them muscles there. <laughs> oh, yeah, like I'm a, a big he-man. Like a knot in... Not in a piece of wet spaghetti. Go ahead, now. Let's, let's hear about how rugged you are, Rodney. Well, I'm mean, too. Are you? Yeah, just drag women around by the hair of the head. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Who'd you ever drag around by the hair of the head? My gal Susie. <laughs> I don't remember you ever dragging Susie around by the hair of the head. Yes, you do. Don't you remember you come see me in the hospital, don't you remember? <laughs> when you was doing very well and then took a turn for the nurse. Yeah, yeah I took a turn for the nurse. Hey, hey, wasn't she a pretty <laughs> I'm telling you, that was one of the prettiest women that I ever seen in my life. Yeah. Well, I never will forget, I never will forget the first day she took my temperature. <laughs> what did she do? Well, Oh, I'm telling you, she uh, first advanced my pulse. Yeah. Then she repulsed my advance. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rodney, you haven't got any brains in your head. I, 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 I'd love to stay here and gab with you. You're awful interesting. But I've got to go. I'm going to a picture show I want to tell you about. I love picture shows. Oh, it's exciting. Is it? It's romantic. What and it's, oh, it's real thrilling. It's a mystery. This is not a city. This is a <laughs> dragnet. <laughs> Listen, this is an exciting story. You know yeah. what it's about? What's it about? It's a spy plot. The girl has a spot, has a spot <laughs> knitted in her sweater. Yeah? Yes, sir. Let me go with you. That's the kind of a plot I love to see unravel. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Another pretty gal we've got with us tonight, too. We asked her to come now because we knew everybody wanted to get a few chuckles. Now, I believe that she can supply them well enough to keep everybody real happy. We're talking about the old gal from down in Grinder Switch, Miss Minnie Pearl. Hey! Hey! Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> sure With is. the moonlight and the magnolia blossoms. And I just don't know on a night like this, wouldn't it be romantical to just sit with a handsome feller and hear music uh -huh. drumming in the back. Very? There he is. second one says, bind me a me. Oh. <laughs> well, I just told him to kiss my foot. Well, now, listen, Rodley. Have you got a, a musician's union card? Union card? Yeah. 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 I've got a union card and also a union suit. Oh. <laughs> Rodley. Yo. I tell you, you can play anything, huh? I can play anything. Well, now, don't play too loud. Do you know there's a lady sick off stage? Well, I don't know it, but if you'll hum it, I'll try to play it. Yeah, I'm getting right. Let me hear you play something. Come on. All right. Oh, I didn't know you could play. See, it just struck me by surprise. Go on. Well, you see, you know what a scale is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, go ahead and play. I want to just hear you. Let me hear you play. Come on. After go comes Ray. Yeah. After Ray comes me. Yeah. You have to raise dough. Go ahead. Well, play for me. Oh, you have so many talents. I've been wanting to talk to this fella all day, so if somebody will hunt him up, I'd like to do talk to him right now. Here he is, the Hornwall Hotshot, Rod Bracefield. <laughs> Oh, Rodney. Good to see you, buddy. How you doing? Pretty good. Hey, Carl. 
I heard the funny story. I said, oh, Lucille just tell me this. Yeah. <laughs> Lucille <laughs> tell me about it. He said, what the, what the dollar said to the penny? What the dollar said to the penny? Yeah, you see, there's a dollar and a penny walking down the street one day, and the dollar says to the penny, says, you ain't your heart. You're just a little old cent. You're just a little old penny. Dude. Yeah. You ain't no good. No. Oh. Penny looked up the dollar and said, I may not be no good, but I bet I go to church more often than you do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Carl, do you like funny sayings and riddles and things like that? Oh, right? yeah, Rod. Buddy, I'm crazy about well, riddles. I heard one down there in the whole wall post office yesterday. I'll pull it on you, buddy. You all right? I, I'd give you some of that milk, but there ain't none left. Oh, you didn't drink it all. Yeah, I'd, uh, I'd love a little coconut. Yeah, oh. <laughs> You tell me, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck would chuck wood? Well, I imagine about as much dew as a dewdrop a drop as you drop a drop dew. <laughs> oh, I do know. <laughs> it's, I ought to slap you uh. down. <laughs> that, ain't, that ain't the way it was by then. All right, tell me this then, Mr. Smith, since you're so smart. All right. <laughs> Why is it a black cow gives white milk that makes yellow butter? Well, I imagine it's about the same thing as oh, the blackberry's red when it's green. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that just kills me for you to give one on me like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lord, I have fucked you with this. Have you seen my gal Susie? No, I ain't so. I, I ain't seen your gal Susie. Well, sure, she had a terrible accident day before yesterday. Is that yeah, right? Some boys was playing with a 22 rifle, and she got shot. Is that Can right? Can you tell me what part of the human anatomy is the yet? The yet? Yeah. What part of the body is called the yet? Why? Well, I, I, yet. I, I don't know, Rod. Why? Well, I don't know, but she got shot with this 22 rifle, and the doctor told me the bullet was in her yet. Yeah. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Wells, ain't she a pretty girl? If you think she's pretty, you ought to see what I found over here on a bale of hay. I found the boy and the girl over here. The girl is real pretty, but I can't say much about the fella. I bet I know who you're talking about, John. Hi, hey. Well, right. Bust you the freaking thing I ever see. Hey, where are you going now? To, uh, you, you've done something that you're pretty strong. Where are you going now, Goldie? I'm fixing to walk home. Let me walk home, will you? I love to walk home with experienced girls. Well, Rob, <laughs> I'm not experienced. Yeah, I know, honey, but you ain't home yet. <laughs> I'll tell you what let's do. Let's, if you ain't doing nothing, let's play hide and seek. Hide and seek. Oh, I love to play hide and seek. <laughs> well, there wouldn't be nobody to look for us, Rod. No? No. Well, we don't want nobody to look for us. <laughs> Where were you? <laughs> I'm gonna make love to you, gal. Right now is my hair party. Both of them. <laughs> I'm gonna make love to you if we just had a seat. I wish I had a seat. I'm telling you, if I had something to sit on, I'm going to make love. <laughs> Thank you, Ernie. <laughs> sit down, Goldie. Sit right down there. <laughs> hey, hey, the game's all here. Hey. <laughs> Honey, look. Give me a little kiss, sort of get me encouraged up here and start it off right. Just no, Rod. Pop no. it to me. I can take it, gal. <laughs> Just a little teeny weeny one, you wouldn't miss it, and I'm just a yearning first. <laughs> uh, turn your head. Huh? Turn your head. I got I don't a want to kiss Johnny right over here. You. Huh? <laughs> Gal, if you hit me, I'm gonna slap you down. Oh, ho, 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 Goldie! Now you stop that! <laughs> I just wanted to kiss you. <laughs> Oh, you done lost part of your shit. <laughs>
All right, Rob. I have a couple of folks back here we'd like to introduce to you, two of my favorite uh, Grand Ole Opry comedians and comedians, I might say. So let's make them welcome. I'm talking about Cousin Minnie Pearl and Rod Brassfield. But first, here is Cousin Minnie Pearl. Yes. <laughs> A fella back there, and I couldn't hardly get away from him. Oh, sure enough. Well, 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 he was telling me he's kin to you. Oh, Minnie, I don't have any kin folks around here at all. Well, that's what he said. No, well, he's a funny looking old fella standing back there. Oh. Says he's related to you. Oh, he must be crazy. <laughs> that's why he said he was kin to you. Oh. <laughs> I've no earnest for, as a, well, come think of it, I don't know what I've known him for. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, Rodney, this time, I want you to sit down here with me now, and let's be sensible. All right. Let's act like real sensible people. All right. Well, now, I don't want nothing said that's not just like folks talk that have got real good, well, of course, I can't look at you if I'm going to be sensible, <laughs> but uh, I want you to just uh, ask me some questions like, you know, folks talk about. Well, Minnie, how was the crops in Grinder Switch this year? Oh, now, that's a sensible subject. <laughs> well, they was um, awful bad last year. Yeah. Oh, they was awful last year. The corn crop was so bad, the crows had to get down on their knees to eat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Little, little corn. <laughs> 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 we had to lather it to mow it. <laughs> oh, but the corn crop... Bad wheat. <laughs> but it's better this year. It the is? The corn crop's a lot better. Sure enough. Yes, Uncle Nabob says he thinks he'll get about four gallons to acre. Well, <laughs> that's better than Hickman County. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that'd be three minutes. Yeah. You know, you ought to be the white horn ball the other day. I'm telling you, we had a, uh, my girlfriend Susie's got a girlfriend that lives up here in the city. Yeah. She come down there to spend two or three days with her, see. Never had been on a farm. Didn't know nothing about a farm, see. So me and, me and Susie were showing her around the farm there, yeah. you know. <laughs> well, we went out to the barn lot to show her the stock. Yeah. Well, there was a bunch of cows and, and little calves and stuff yeah. running around there in the, in, the, in the barn lot, you know. And she seen these calves and says, oh, what are those? I says, those are cows. She says, what's them little ones, cowlets? Oh. I says, no, honey, them's bullets. Oh. <laughs> Thank you a lot there, Cousin Minnie Pearl and Rod Brad. The teller of tall tales and the mayor of Hornwall, Tennessee, Rod Batfield. Yeah. 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 Hey, I run into a friend of mine over this now, Cowboy Copeland. Oh, yeah, old Cope's friend of everybody. And, and me and him's got the quartet all fixed up. Do you mind if we sing a song? Why, well, Rod, I'd love to hear you. Hey, Cope! Yeah, Rod! Oh, hi! Hey, hi, Rod. Hey, Rod. Hey, Rod. Good to see you. Good to see you. You bring out a bunch, will you? Yeah, I got oh, all of them. Uh, tater oh, eating oh, full. Oh, there they are. Originals. <laughs> Good to see you, Mr. Potter. We'll bury you one of these days. You got, <laughs> you got the song books? Yeah, let's, have, mm -hmm. let's all about. have a book. Let's have a book. Boys. Yeah. Have, have a, a book. Have a, have a, have a song book. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll yeah. sing Josephus and Bo Hunkers. Josephus and Bo Hunkers. Right. All right. We that's on that. page 22, men. 22. Right. I ain't got no page 22. Be all right if I sing on page 11 twice? <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Come think of it. The words ain't in my book either, so well, I'll just sing out of his. Here right. we go. Yeah, this is number one, verse number one. <laughs> there was a farmer had two sons, and these two sons were brothers. Josephus was the name of one, Bo Hunkus was the other. Sing, brother, sing. There was a farmer had two sons, and 
singing too much. Oh, you got some hair come out. <laughs> Verse number three. Now these two boys are dead and gone. Long may their ashes rest. Josephus of the colliery died. Bohunkus by request. Sing, brother, sing. Now, now these two boys are dead and gone. Long may <laughs> too much. Right You're singing entirely too much. Looks too big. <laughs> <laughs> now these two boys, their story told, and they did tell it well. Josephus up to heaven went, and Bohunkus went to... Sing, brother, sing. <laughs> now these two boys, their story told, and they Yo! did tell it well. Oh! Josephus up to heaven went, Bohunkus went to... Hornwall. <laughs> done a grand job. I never heard such pretty harmony, I don't think. <laughs> Us fellas on Grand Ole Opry had a, our choice of being like someone we could be like and trying to imitate him. I think we'd all pick uh, the lover boy type, and that could only be one fella on Grand Ole Opry. We want all you girls to see him now. Rodney Brasfield. Ah. Where did you think I've seen? I've got me a new car, George. A new car? Yeah, won't you see it when you get through here? I, well, I'd like to oh, see it. Oh, it's a fine car, boy. What kind of car? It's is got it? a pickup. I mean, it won't quit. A pickup? Yeah, good pickup. Fast. Pick, picked up two blondes in a block last night. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I done with it when I first got it? No, there's no telling. Well, I took it over to the uh, garage and I got them to, to grease it all over on the outside. What That's for? so the finance company can't get a hold of it, see? <laughs> <laughs> we went to a party last night. We had a party last night down there in Hornwall, a box supper at the schoolhouse. Mm -hmm. And there like was a those. bunch of the kids wanted me to take them home when the show was over there and everything, you know? You took them home? Yeah, I took them home and there was a whole flock of them. One boy says to me, he says, Rod, how many does this new car of yours hold? I said, well, it ordinarily carries five. five. But it'll hold seven if they're well acquainted. <laughs> <laughs> so I took a bunch of them home there, George, and then I, I but while I was at the party, I run into a, my old school teacher, Miss no Rivers kidding. Christian, yeah. Well. And I, me and her got talking about it. <laughs> I, I, I hard to tell you this, but I won't tell you. Well, I want to hear it. I don't will forget one day I sat there just like a human and minding everybody's business but mine. And <laughs> just like you had good sense. Yeah, and she turned her head. She turned her head, and I shot the paper wide with a little rubber right back. Oh, did you? <laughs> huh? <laughs> rubber right there, <laughs> there. She looked around and caught me just as I was putting it in my pocket, you know, and she says, come here, Rodney. She's like that. I went up there. Well, before I went up there, I knowed what she's going to do because she'd done did it before. <laughs> so I took my history, my arithmetic, and my geography, and I shoved them down in the seat of my overhaul. In, in the seat of your britches? Yeah. She called me up there and laid me across her knee, and she hit me with a board that had a big old nail in it about that long. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, that, that nail went into that history and declared war. <laughs> Went into that arithmetic and just cut an awful figure. Yeah. <laughs> went into that geography and went to North America, South America, and when it hit Hornwall, it just tore it all to pieces. <laughs> Booger 
it, too, That's boy. The, give me a bike, you booger, well, you. Get all you want, That's the finest I ever saw, I reckon. Jimmy, I, hmm? do you know what the little chicken said when it found this orange in its mama's mouth? No, what? Oh, look at the orange marmalade. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just killed me! <laughs> hey, Jimmy. What, Rod? I've just been having me some fun, boy. You have? I run into one of the prettiest women last night. You like straight potatoes? Yeah, I like straight potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> like straight potatoes. Run into a pretty woman, huh, Rod? I'm telling you the <laughs> truth. This was the prettiest woman I ever seen. Is that so? Yes, sir. She was a high society woman. Ah. Damn. <laughs> She's telling me about her family. How they class. Yeah, she said that... She said the King of England touched her daddy on the head with a sword... Oh, well. ...and made him a knight. What do you know? I said, well, that ain't nothing. The chief of police and horn mall hit my old head on the... my old man on the head with a club and made him an angel. <laughs> <laughs> She was telling me, Jimmy, she was telling me about you on another bike. Uh-huh. She was telling me about her brother. She said that uh, somebody's mule uh, run away with her brother and he was in the hospital. He wouldn't be out for six weeks. What do you know? I says, well, that ain't nothing. My brother run away with somebody's mule and he won't be out for six years. <laughs> <laughs> Come to find out, Jimmy, that she was a, a Spanish woman. Spanish woman? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Spanish, Spanish woman. Spanish Because when I started to leave, she says, adios. Yeah. I says, what does that mean? She says, that's goodbye in Spanish. Well, of course. I says, well, carbolic acid. <laughs> she says, what does that mean? I says, that's goodbye in anybody's language. Girl. You're so right, Rod. <laughs> See you, boy. Bye, You said get him right away. Oh, Riley. Riley, I'll tell you what, I'm awful upset today anyway. I couldn't have driven the car anyway. I'm just upset. I just My fella and me, we are having an awful hard time fighting and fussing and everything. You and his? Yes. Riley, it may not show, but love has kicked me in the face. <laughs> yeah, Minnie, it shows. <laughs> <laughs> now, maybe. You and Hedy were just to get the long fine, honey. I passed y'all's house last night, and y'all was walking toward the house out in the yard there down the walk. Ham them, ham this walking over your head. Well, that was last night. We did have a, we had a real good time last night. <laughs> we walked on in the house, and yeah. we sat down. Yeah. Just the two of us. Yeah. Yes, yeah. on the double settee. Yeah. In the loving room. In the loving room. Loving room. Minnie, that's living. You're telling me. <laughs> oh, me, what a pair there. Cousin Minnie Pearl and Rod Brasby. Song, just like I promised you. You know, I don't think any show would be complete unless we had some... Uh, Sayings from our real fine fella from Hornwall. So, what do you say we get the Hornwall Flash, Mr. Rod Brasfield, out here? You know what? You know what, Ray? Old Murphy, the butcher guy out there told me some jokes like all they got them on me, I'm gonna get them on you. They did? Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna kill me, boy. Look here, we're back out like this here at a railroad track, see? Yeah. And I'm walking down these cross ties, walking down the railroad track. Yeah. You say, where are you going, Rod? And then I'll uh, spill the beans, see? Okay, hi. Right. Okay, I'm okay. right. walking down the railroad track. Hi, Ray. Hello, Rod. Let's see. Where are you going, Rod? I'm looking for the president of this railroad. Do you think you'll find him? I don't know. I'm on his track. <laughs> Killed me, too. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's back out like this is a barn over here. Barn. And I'm a little milkmaid. This is a milk pail. I've come out of the barn. I've been milking. Yeah. And you say, good morning, how's the milkmaid this morning? Good morning, how's the milkmaid this morning? Yeah, then I'll, I'll tell the funny part. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I did. Good morning, how's the milkmaid this morning? We don't make it. We get it from a cow. <laughs> You read, and I'll say, Reed, do you know how many hairs is in a pig's face? And you say, no, Rod, how many hairs is in a pig's face? Uh -huh. <laughs> and then I'll, <laughs> then I'll tell you. <laughs> hey. Hello, Reed. Hello, Rod. Hey, Reed, do you know how many hairs is in a pig's face? No, I don't, Rod, but next time you shave, count <laughs> I'm mad by net, I'm gonna do something I very seldom do. I'm gonna sing. Oh, no. If my tonsils don't backfire and slap the taste out of I'm gonna sing. I'm gonna sing a little song entitled, When the Doctors Operated on Papa, They Opened My Mama's Mail. Oh. <laughs> duck is kind to your web-footed friends. A duck may be somebody's mother. Be kind to your friends in the swamp. They live in the dark on dust. Now you may think this is the end, and it is. Thank you. <laughs> We always get a big kick out of Rodney. We know you're going to get a big kick out of the next... He's up to some kind of a stunt, and we think that he's a... What? Wait a minute. Who let this prop man? Listen, you can't be bringing props out of it. We're right in the middle of the show. Well, hello there, Pearl. Why, Rod Brad. <laughs> I didn't know you was out of the army yet, but it's good to have you here. <laughs> uh, Fern, uh, you didn't know I was an artist. No, I didn't. I've learned to paint and draw and stuff. I'm drawing pictures now. That there's a boat. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty You've good. heard of tugboats, haven't you? Yeah. That's a tugboat. <laughs> oh. I'm going I'm going to draw I'm going to wipe that out and draw another. Look at you, you see what I see. Who you looking at? Goldie Hill? Yeah. Come here, Goldie. <laughs> You're a little old sweet chugger booger, you. Come here, hold <laughs> Eddie Hill shoot me, but I'm going to talk about you. Uh, do, do you like pretty pictures? Oh, yeah. Hey, I've got an idea, Goldie. I'm going to open a studio right here in Nashville. Oh, you are? Yeah. Uh, would you be interested in a job as my secretary? Uh, <laughs> well, uh, uh, it all depends on what your salary is. Well, I'll pay you twenty-eight dollars a week. That's well, still. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm making thirteen dollars a day now. Thirteen dollars a day. I say thirteen dollars a day, seven days in the week. It's uh, well, that's well, that's twenty-eight dollars. Oh no, it's more than that. Oh, now look, Goldie, it ain't done. It's by now. It ain't no more than that. It's twenty-eight dollars. I can. You want me to prove it to you? All right. Watch this. Watch we'll put down 28 here. See it? All right. We'll divide it this time. Okay. We'll put, see if seven... Now, seven into two won't go, will it? No. Well, Flitter, we just won't use that two. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put it down here. We might use it directly. <laughs> seven into eight will go once, won't it? One time. One time. One time, seven is seven. Seven from eight leaves one, right? We didn't use the two, did we? Okay, we'll use it right now. We'll put it right down here. <laughs> seven and 21, three times. 13, there's your answer right up there. <laughs> yeah. Figures don't lie. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, let's do by that, I'll prove to you again. Let's put down 13, uh, seven times. <laughs> Gosh, you're a pretty booger out there. <laughs> you bother me, Shell. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. I need another down there, don't I? 
You add it up, hon. I'll take your word for it. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. <laughs> He's always, <laughs> always trying to beat somebody out of something. I just figure with old Rod Bradfield. <laughs>